the wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City, they take on Inter next on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head to head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? So the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. at the Inter team Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence Akan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield and leading the attack today Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku and now the Champions League final commences Mares. Really a very poor ball. And Bernardo Silva has it. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? But it wouldn't go in for him. Well, he just couldn't get enough top spin on the ball. But you have to say, it was mighty close. Brozovic. And support available. But the danger averted for now. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Alessandro Bastoni... But a pass that lacks quality. He's in with a chance. Is it going to be? Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Chalanolu. On the ball, Bastoni. An unforced error, you've got to say. Holland. And players waiting in the centre. 
Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Lukaku doing the shielding as others make their way forward. And the flag raised. Offside it is. De Bruyne. Now potential danger. Real chance. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. Brozovic. Very quick thinking there. Holland. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it petered out. De Bruyne. Walker. De Bruyne now. And he's lost custody of the ball here. He's got space. Strong but fair tackle. Through ball from De Bruyne. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Put in by De Bruyne. That's fine goalkeeping to hold on to the corner. Lukaku. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Oh, in with a chance. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Oh, big chance. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. Can he make it 1-0? Oh, not to be! Not even close! Well, I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. That's a shocking penalty. Mares. On to Holland. The supporters want to see him have a go. And top-notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Francesco Acerbi. And it's with Dumfries. Oh, great attacking play. Well, maybe I wrote him off too quickly. Good defending in the end. Holland. Throw into Manchester City. Could play it in. And a goal kick will be next. It must go in, surely. The crossbar got in the way. Danger averted. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming.
the first half here comes to an end Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Martinez! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Delivering it. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. Well, he made great contact. With... And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. This to open the scoring here. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Well, here's the replay, and he just strikes the ball down the middle. The goalkeeper gets out the way. It's a really good penalty, and no danger that the goalkeeper was going to save that. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Mares. And return to De Bruyne. This could level it. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, threat over for now. Nicely timed tackle. Well, City did everything but score there, and they do look dangerous at the moment. But you have to give credit to the keeper. He's just kept his team in front here. Another great challenge. Free kick here. Di Marco. It's opening up for them. Well, Inter couldn't hang on to it. An incisive pass. So a corner for Inter. What can they do with this one? Over it comes. Oh, he's blocked it! Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. need to get rid of it and both hands on it good goalkeeping Walker really getting stuck in and he's through here chance maybe oh a goal he's equalised was he made for moments like this on an occasion like this. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert, who gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. Now, who can he play it to? 
Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Breaking at pace. The defenders need to cover. Could be. Oh, a goal! As they forge ahead on this massive occasion, feel the passion. Just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Federico Di Marco. Can they take advantage? Struggling to get it away. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, a goal here for Inter from the corner. Really would change the complexion of the game. A change in the offing for City. Now sending it in. Not all that convincing defensively. And this is Brozovic. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And City being afforded too much room. Through ball, just overdone. Federico Di Marco. Brozovic. This could square the game. But no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there. But really, that should have been the equaliser. And there's not long left now. And Manchester City will go to their bench. He's driven in the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Another time for cool heads. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Well-timed tackle. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Well, he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Chalanolu. Oh, surely! Oh, goals! A level is up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. And the pass could do damage. Inter have given away possession. Manchester City still on the attack. As the minutes tick away, can they come up with a winner? Rifled against the post, but back in play. On a time for composure on the ball. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time.
Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Given away by City. Federico Di Marco. Inter recovering possession well. Foul there, free kick awarded. Here it is now, a substitution. And there to intervene. Must take the lead here. Was an important piece of defending. Dumfries. The delivery. And in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. And take it away. Barella. Can he finish? Emerson, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And they get the ball rolling. In well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Barella still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead can he do it to take the lead well whatever way you slice it that was a terrible miss well he'll know what a bad miss that was I'm not sure how he got that off target Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Read it superbly to take back possession. Had a play for a Manchester City throw in. Still pushing for a winner. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Chance to cross. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Possession given away, unfortunately. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. De Bruyne. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards.
Well, just watch this again. Look how De Bruyne beats his man with such ease. But I think the defending is poor. How can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him? Mind you, it's still a great team goal. Well, the action underway once more. No shortage of entertainment. 3-2. Time is very much against them here. And a goal kick is the outcome. And there it is, full time Manchester City Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.